This is the Algebra 1 practice test for T and ready. On this version of the test, it's question number 20. Consider the function f of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus 20x minus 42, which graph shows all the values for which x, uh, of x, I should say, sorry, for which f of x is greater than or equal to 0. Now, this is one of those questions that it is a calculator allowed section, by the way, so I'm definitely going to use one. And specifically, I'm going to use a graphing calculator. I know, visually speaking, that this graph is going to look something like this. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but I know it's going to be a parabola because of the x squared, and I know that it's going to have this, it's going to have a maximum value because it's negative. It's not like this, that would be positive. So I do know that is going to be the case. For which f of x is greater than or equal to zero, well, that just means that at some point it's going to this is a y essentially it's going to cross up and go over and then go down so there are a few ways that i could do this and the easiest one is going to just be graphing it so why wouldn't i do that i'm i like being lazy about that sort of thing so i will one of the big things early on uh, that you could get an error with is if you're typing in negative 2 don't put minus 2 it's negative 2 unless it's between terms like here is a minus but uh, it's negative otherwise and for this one it's minus 42 because it's between two terms not between two ferns that's another thing so here we go so I can see that at this point and this point I'm going to get values that are greater than or equal to 0 so anywhere between here and here. And if I want to, I can do this magical thing called counting, where I can just see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So some, anywhere between 3 and 7 as far as being greater than or equal to. So that's what I'm looking for in my graph. Um, I could also look at the table if I want. Here's the table. I'm looking for y values that are above 0. And as you can see, at 0, at 3, there's 1, at 4, 5, 6, and then 7's back to 0, and then it's negative again. So any of those values. But in the graph, and you could actually find zeros if you want, like go and find the zeros. I have no idea why you would do that here, but you can. Just wanted to give you that option, I guess. But to me, the key issue is to know that this is a line so that would include all values and not just the discrete values it's not just three four five six and seven it's 3.1 3.2 the line goes all the way through it's not a dotted line it's continuous so i need to make sure that i give my answer here what happens what do i do if i don't have some fancy graphing calculator well you can find the solutions to this term and still get your answer so if i wanted to go down and deal with that negative 2 times 2 is a 4 so I'll do the X method and I could even do negative 2 here if I want but yeah too lazy um, so 1 and oh, sorry the number I want to make is plus 20 and I want a 84 to get me there so that's going to be a key issue that I'm going to be working with in terms of numbers. Um, so I can do a factor list for 84, 1 and 84, 2 and 42, da 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 da. Eventually I'll get down to 6 and 14. There's some others in there, but I'm not going to bother with them. So those are my two values that I'm going to get. So I end up with x plus 6 and x plus 14 and remember I'm going to want to divide these two numbers here so I end up with negative 2 there and negative 2 there this one actually works out pretty easily so I get a factor of x minus 3 and on this one it doesn't really do what I want it to do so I end up getting negative 2x plus 14 those are my factors. I need to solve them by setting them equal to zero. I'm going to get rid of that real fast. X minus 3, obviously to eliminate 
uh, subtraction I need to add, so x is equal to 3. So that's for my first point of my zeros. So this whole thing where it goes up, that's the value there. And for the other one, to eliminate addition, which that was a, one of the ugliest plus signs I've ever done, and I've done some really horrible ones um, here. And I'm still not finished, so I need to divide by negative 2. X is equal to 7. So that would be the number right here. Both of those will, give, will uh, get you your zeros that you need, and then the numbers between those two would get you to your final answer. Look at the answer choices. See, they did the thing with the dots, the continuous versus discrete thing. This is a function, so it has all of the parts in between the individual numbers. So there's no dots. It's a straight, it's a solid line, so you have to worry about that. Um, the other thing is minus 7 and minus 3. They're trying to get you to, this is, they think you're not going to graph it. If you can graph it, absolutely do it. But they think you're just going to see x minus 3 and say, oh, well, negative 3 is one of them. And if I just set this thing, um, maybe negative 7 is something I would work in my head or whatever. But don't fall for it. Work it all the way out. And if you have the option to graph, make sure that you do so to solidify that you've done it correctly.